Varroa mites, Varroa destructor, tracheal mites. They've asked me to take a look at honeybee colony collapse disorder. You know, we've heard it on the news. I saw a few shows on PBS about, you know, the widespread death of honeybees, which are necessary for pollination. You know, much of our food uh, is pollinated by bees. So they've asked me to take a look and uh, they have a list here of all the possibilities, uh, both from the CDC and from the, the Bee Keepers Associations. Uh, and this is affecting not only the bees in the U.S., but uh, all, over, all over the world, really. Uh, let me continue with the testing here. Oh, this is the instrument that I'm using is called the Quantum Inquisitor. And it indicates whether there is a resonance back and forth. This is resonance, meaning that uh, the word is somehow connected to the uh, colony collapse disorder. Or if it's not, there won't be a resonance. There'll be what's called a dissonance, and it'll go, show me dissonance, it'll go up and down. So let me get back to the testing here. It's quite an extensive list. Nocema apis. See, that's going up and down. That's a no. European fowl brood. No. Microsporidium fungus. Nocema. No. Nocema serene. No. The antifungal agent fumagillin. That's a no. Israeli acute paralysis virus. That's a no. Deformed wing virus. No. Acute B paralysis virus? No. I can't pronounce all these words correctly, but uh, they're on the paper here. Cell phone radiation towers? No. Nope. Electromagnetic radiation? Nope. Genetically modified foods with pest control characteristics? Ah, there's the first indication of a yes. Genetically modified foods with pest control characteristics. That's a possibility. Mark there. High fructose corn syrup. They feed, uh, during the winter, they feed the bees um, sugars to, uh, to keep them alive. High fructose corn syrup. No. Monoculture diet. No. Meaning they, uh, the bees only eat, say, from a, a field of clover. That's all they eat is clover. Monoculture diet, no. Nope. Climate change, no. Global warming, no. That HARP project from the government, high frequency, active role research program, HARP, no. Nope. The GWEN project, ground wave emergency network, no. Nope. Environmental chemicals, environmental chemicals. Now that's a huge yes, environmental chemicals. Let's take a look. Uh, the following few weren't on the list at the CDC. They weren't even considered. Uh, but I'm looking at it, looking at the whole aspect of, of what bees do. Uh, they have to be affected by, by chemicals in the environment. So the first one, which was omitted from the CDC, is uh, herbicides. Herbicides. That's a huge, a huge yes, herbicides. Uh, pollen from transgenic foods, pollens from uh, genetically modified foods. That's another huge yes. Uh, the active ingredient in Roundup, it's called glyphosate, and it's in Roundup and Rodeo and another one called Pond Master. That's another huge yes, another huge yes. There is a, 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 an, act, called an inactive ingredient in, in Roundup called uh, polyethoxylated taroamine. Uh, it's a surfactant to get the uh, to get the glyphosate to stick to the plants. That's another huge yes, another huge yes. So it looks as though everything they've looked at is a no. What there is a yes is the herbicides and the genetically the Roundup genetically modified foods uh, that are grown worldwide. Uh, they're called uh, Roundup Ready crops, and they're made by Mon Monsanto. Uh, one other thing, I 
tested for is whether colony collapse disorder is a result of corporate greed. And that gets to be a huge yes, a huge yes. To sum it up, if we were to say the cause of colony collapse disorder is the Monsanto chemicals, we get a yes. We get a yes. CDC will not look at Monsanto. There's just too much money involved. Too many uh, politicians are, well, too, Monsanto knows too many politicians. It's just not going to happen. We're going to have to, uh, we're going to have to evolve as a B-list society because of Monsanto.